There's no question that Sebastian Rivera can say he's on top of the world after returning to New Jersey as an Olympic bronze medalist. The CBA state champion and All-American at Northwestern and Rutgers saw family, friends, and his club team, Elite Wrestling, line the streets of Tom's River for a hero's welcome after representing Puerto Rico in the Paris Games. Yeah, this is uh, my family, Elite for Life, you know, you got a village and uh, they all came out and it just means so much that I could do this for them and show that to all these young guys that it's possible, you know. As a parent, like, to know that your son or daughter is beloved so much, it's just, it, it does something to your heart and Absolutely. it's amazing. In 2016, Rivera won the 113 pound state championship with a sudden victory pin over future NCAA champion Patrick Glory in Atlantic City. That is one of the most dramatic finishes in New Jersey high school wrestling history. Fittingly, there was more drama in his bronze medal match against Mongolia's Tulga Tomor Ochir. Trailing 9-8, a last second two point takedown went to video replay after time expired. Rivera's family was in the stands, nervously waiting for the decision, and erupted when Seabass scored a 10-9 win to take home the bronze. I don't think, uh, you know, I took a breath during that moment, but then um, they had it up on the screen, so they show it like in slow motion, and once we saw the knee hit, I mean, everybody in the arena was like, two, we're, we're screaming, two, that's two. Back home, UFC legend Frankie Edgar was on the edge of his seat, seeing the wrestler he's known since birth come through at the buzzer. This kid knows how to give you a heart attack, uh, but that's just the way he goes, and uh, he has no quit attitude. I mean, he's such a great example for, for my kids and the kids in the area. Uh, love this kid. Uh, I knew I scored. I felt his knee hit, so I, I was confident. I replayed we were going to get it done, and as soon as we saw it, uh, my coach was ecstatic, and we knew that we got it done, and uh, yeah, it was just a surreal moment. How do you celebrate an Olympic medal? Rivera went into a gymnastics routine that would make Simone Biles proud. A double backflip with a full twist. Uh, my sister, she taught me a lot of gymnastics at a young age, and I held on to it for a good moment, like I said. And that was the best moment to, to show everybody that I, can, I got a little full in me, you know? Unbelievable that he even mentioned me. He did not have to mention me at all. So it's great that he was able to pull that, and it, it was smooth. He pulled it, nothing. There's a lot that can go wrong with a full, so it's awesome that he pulled in. It was a great celebration. The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. On the last day of competition, Sebastian Rivera provided a lasting memory of the 2024 Olympic Games. He gave Puerto Rico one of its two medals and represented the toughness and grit of the New Jersey wrestling community. You just find peace in the things you do, right? It's not easy to be uh, a top tier wrestler. You gotta sacrifice a lot. I sacrificed a lot to get here. and. It's a, it feels really good in your hand because it shows that you did something and you, you, all your hard work uh, came to fruition. In Tom's River, I'm Rich Grampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.